But first, an 11-year-old girl was riding her scooter in the middle of the street when a bullet hit her in the head. Police said they arrested the man who pulled the trigger. It happened last week on Gowan Street in downtown Emporia. Today, Assange Jason Marks just got back from there. Jason. Alvita, it was still daylight out when the bullet started flying. Everyone around them found themselves in danger. And police say one person was hit, an innocent child. On Gowan Street in Emporia, when I was growing up, oh, it was a nice, peaceful neighborhood. But that peace is in the past. But now sometimes, um, you know, it got to be different from what it was when we were growing up. You just have to deal with it and hope that things will get better. And last Friday, residents got another reminder of the dangerous times they're living in. I had witnessed a fight, and then I heard five gunshots. Pow, 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 pow. And that's when I called the police. Police say 22-year-old Evan McNair was fighting with his ex-girlfriend. She got into a car and started pulling away. We're told McNair pulled out a gun and started shooting. Bullets don't have any names on it. So it, whenever someone is shot or whenever the bullets are flying everywhere, you don't never know where they're going to hit. Neighbors say one of those bullets without a name hit an 11-year-old girl named Shardell. We knew she was hurt. At the time, Shardell Walton was doing something she loved. I used to say a lot on the um, on the school going up and down the road. The young girl is now in the hospital. Police say she was shot in the head. You just think of the fact that it was a little girl. See this? See, this is what they, they, where it ended up at. The home Benny Lane grew up in was also hit by one of those nameless bullets. This is injury. I wanted the bullets. I didn't know it until this morning. He is so thankful he wasn't a victim. Now he along with his neighbors are all praying. Could have been my child, could have been anybody's child. That Shardell smile will be back home where it belongs. I know God has the prayers and I feel like she's going to be all right. A family told us Shardell opened her eyes for the first time after the shooting this morning. She still has a long way to go before she's back home out of the hospital. Evan McNair was arrested at a motel in nearby Prince George County. He's facing 18 charges, including attempted murder. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And we also checked, and Evan Lee McNair has a lengthy rap sheet. Police say that when he was arrested, he was in violation of a protective order. He was also in violation of two similar felonies. Still working to figure out exactly what those felonies are.